Welcome back for a third video with me today. We are going to read Inch by Inch for Storytime. This book is by Leo Leone. And Inch by Inch is the title of the story. Leo Leone is the author and the illustrator, which means he wrote the words and the pictures. This is called the what of a story. The cover page. What is this called? It's the same, it's usually the same as the cover page. The title page. And oh, what is this called? This one has a skinny one. The spine. This is what holds the pages together so the book doesn't fall apart. Nice job. All right, let's read. One day, a hungry robin saw an inchworm, green as an emerald, sitting on a twig. He was about to gobble him up. Don't eat me! I'm an inchworm! I'm useful! I measure things! Is that so? said the robin. Then measure my tail! Do you think that's true? Do you think the inchworm really does measure things? That's easy, said the inchworm. One, two, three, four, five inches. Just think, said the robin. My tail is five inches long. And with the inchworm, he flew to where other birds needed to be measured. So now here you see the inchworm is going for a ride on the robin's back. The inchworm measured the neck of the flamingo. How long do you think the flamingo's neck is going to be? He's an inchworm, so how many inches do you think? He measured the toucan's beak. How long do you think the toucan's beak is going to be? He measured the legs of the heron. Wow, those are long legs. How long do you think that the legs would be? How many inches? And he measured the tail of a pheasant. Look at how long that tail is. How many inches do you imagine that tail would be? Probably a lot. And he measured the whole hummingbird. Remember, are hummingbirds, <laughs> humming, are hummingbirds big or small? They're very small. So how many inches do you think a hummingbird is? This inchworm has been very busy. One morning, the nightingale met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But how can I do that, said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. Measure my song or I'll eat you for breakfast, said the nightingale. Do you think that that was very nice of the nightingale? Everybody else was being so kind to him. So then the inchworm had an idea. I'll try, he said. Go ahead and sing. What do you think his idea is going to be? Good idea. So the nightingale sang and the inchworm measured away. Do you think he really can measure a song? That would be interesting. He measured and he measured. Where is he? I can't even see him. Oh, there he is, in the corner. Now I'm curious, do you think he really is measuring? Must be a long song. And inch by inch. So he's made it all the way over here now. Until he inched out of sight. That clever inchworm. 
so do you think that the nightingale will be able to eat him up now? No. He inched out of sight. The end. So he was a very clever inchworm. My question for you is, out of all the characters in the book, I would like you to make a prediction for one of them. How many inches do you think was the item that he measured? So let's go back and look. So we know that the robin's tail was five inches long, so we're not going to predict that because we already have the answer for that. But you can pick anything like the flamingo's neck. You could predict how many inches the, fl the flamingo's neck was. You could predict the toucan's beak. How long do you think the toucan's beak was? And you could pick it because it's your favorite animal, or you could pick it for another reason. You could predict how long the heron's leg was. Or the tail of the pheasant. The pheasant is a kind of bird. So you could predict how long his tail was. And you could predict how big the hummingbird was. How many inches do you think the hummingbird was? So pick one of those animals, not the nightingale, because he wasn't very kind to the inchworm, right? And he wanted him to measure his song. So pick one of those animals. Tell me what you predict. How many inches do you think that it was? And then we'll try to find the real answers, and we'll see how close your prediction was to the real an answer. Awesome job, my friends. I can't wait to see what you think, and I hope you have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow for Kindergarten Club. Have a good night.